today is gonna be my what's in my shower, what's in my bathroom tour. You'll kind of see like the nitty gritty of the products that I use and swear by. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy this tour. There's a surprise at the end, so hopefully you'll stay tuned through the video. And I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, on the first shelf we have my husband's shaving foam on this side. He uses the Nivea Extra Moisture. I have two conditioners. Uh, the first one is from my base hair color, and the second one is from when I tone my ombre. So that's the conditioners from the kit, and I use those like once a week. This one I do not recommend. It is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Moisturizing Conditioner. Uh, it smells great. Mm, doesn't really do too much, so I'm just trying to use it up. Uh, coming down on this little bamboo ledge, this is actually my Cebu Beauty uh, Sea Buckthorn Facial Cleanser. I use this one to two times a day with my um, cleansing brush. And then this side is just my Lever 2000 Body Soap. And then here is my pretty little pink spongy with polka dots. I love. Well, good God, I just knocked it off. Anyways, I get those from uh, Bath & Body Works. This is my husband's shampoo and conditioner. He loves the American Crew Tea Tree line. It's the balancing shampoo and calming conditioner. Um, either one of these are great for men if you're trying to get some volume in your hair. And also, it has this like really invigorating effect on your scalp. Um, it's just really minty and cool, and it really rejuvenates you and wakes you up. So we just have a fog-free mirror with my husband's razor. Uh, he uses the Gillette, I think, yeah. And it is not fog-free. I have never found a fog-free mirror. They all fake you out. They fog up in like two weeks. Um, okay, so anyways, this is his bath soap. He uses the Old Spice. His favorite scent is Komodo. And then I have two. I have one that's about to run out. This is my soft soap. I just tried the Juicy Pomegranate and Mango Infusions. I grabbed this on a road trip that we were taking. It was cheap and quick, and I threw it in my bag, just finishing it up. And then I bought a replacement. I've never tried this before. This is the Olay Moisture Ribbons Body Wash. Um, I guess this is just the original scent. I don't know. I just picked it up to try it. I'm a sucker for body washes. I'm always trying to find the perfect body wash. Um, okay, moving along, this is Shimmer Lights, and I actually, like I said, I have ombre hair, so I use this to tone my hair once a week. It's a really deep pigmented purple, and um, I think I can show you. It's like a really dark purple, and this is great for taking out brassiness in gray or blonde. If you happen to get a little bit gold or brassy, this will actually tone that right out, so I really like that one. All right, coming around here, we have the Purology. This is the Anti-Fade Complex Hydrate Condition and Hydrate Shampoo. And these are the one liter sizes. They smell fantastic. They smell like sort of like a day spa. And uh, they do wonders for just adding some really good moisture into your hair. Now they are a little bit pricey, but, um, and actually they re recently changed the bottle style too. But yeah, they're, like I said, they're a little bit pricey. You can find them at most places like Ulta. Uh, you can also probably get them from like salon supplies stores but I do recommend getting the one liter size you get the most for your money and it lasts a long time if you really aren't into high-end hair stuff or maybe it's just a little bit out of your price range definitely check out the L'Oreal Ever Pure line um, they make some great products that just have the same sort of no sulfate like low lather type uh, properties that the Pureology has okay coming back around I have this sort of little clear plastic tub container that I bought at Target and my husband he uses the Nivea for men moisturizing face wash and it's just like a really minty kind of refreshing face wash and then I'm finishing up trying the clean and clear morning burst facial scrub it's oil free and it has little um, I guess little beads in it uh, it's not really very exfoliating I don't really you know it's good if you're looking for a basic face scrub but I thought maybe it'd be something fun to try I probably won't repurchase it but I do recommend it if you're looking for an affordable face scrub now the one I do love and really really enjoy using is this one and this is the Murad Age Reform AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. It's kind of like a gritty texture and um, you just basically can use it in combination with your face brushes and I really like the way it feels. It's really helping to level out my oily skin while um, keeping my dry skin moisturized and it's a very mild exfoliator so it doesn't really feel like it scratches your face up too much. And the other one I'm also using is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate and um, I've actually just started trying this one out so I'll have to do maybe more of an in-depth review on that one. My trusty um, Olay Pro X face brush, I have been using that since December. I still haven't had to change the batteries. I've actually dropped it from four feet. I've dropped it, completely submerged it in a tub without meaning to. It is still going strong. I mean, it is still spinning. 
and um, there's the low, there's the high, and if you guys are interested, um, I did do a re full review on that product if you want to check it out. Hanging from this, I have this really long sort of bath towel. It's kind of like a blue towel and you can hear the texture in it. And what I use that for is anytime I do self tanning, I take this and I just make sure that I exfoliate my skin really well. I keep it hanging in the shower just because it dries a lot easier hanging off to the side like this. And um, I use this to scrub my skin really good whenever I am in the shower and I'm trying to take off the dead skin cells for a smoother self tanning application. Okay, coming back around down to the bottom is gonna be the last part of the shower. And on this side right here, I have my Joyco K-Pak hair treatment system. And um, this is actually gonna be the reconstruct system. It's a shampoo conditioner and sort of like an intense, deep penetrating treatment on this side right here. And uh, basically what this does is it renews the protein and the keratin in your hair if you have done a major sort of like bleaching process or maybe your hair is severely damaged or um, I don't know just maybe your hair is really fried or frizzed out from some serious hair color treatments or you know for whatever reason I have this little sort of um, I guess wall sort of mirror unit type thing like this and that's the top and it just comes down and it fills up pretty much the whole wall and um, in this I just I'll open this up and show you I kind of store all of my stuff and starting at the top this is my husband's it's like body hair remover if he ever decides he wants to be all macho and like smooth up his chest or something he uses the Nair men hair remover body cream and his favorite scents are Old Spice Matterhorn and Old Spice Komodo. He said in case anybody's curious or they're looking for a guy's opinion he definitely likes Komodo the best. This is the spray and this is the deodorant. All right, these are my after body like splashes and these are Victoria's Secret. Romantic Wish is definitely my favorite and Amber Romance is um, kind of like a second favorite. It's a very sweet cupcakey scent. I just keep my lotion and my two body splashes there. I wear contact, so I have my contact lenses, contact lens solution. This is like my hair sort of love my hair section. Um, I have my Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, which I swear by, my Unite 7 Seconds Leave-In Spray Conditioner. Um, it also does like ends repair, a detangler, shine spray, heat protectant, it kind of does a little bit of everything. Then I have my Matrix Total Results Silk Wonders, um, Tresemme Heat Protectant, um, Frizz Styling Cream, which I haven't actually used this yet. I'm going to be trying this out. It's straight making from medium to thick hair, which I definitely have thick hair. Pump It Up Gold, which is actually an ethnic hair care product, which I swear by for keeping really tight, springy ringlet curls if you're doing a major, um, like a curl style. And then my favorite hairspray, which is Trust Me, and it's the Trey 2 Spray Level 4. And here, um, oh, I just keep my personal feminine products right now. It's this cute little sort of um, zigzag print thing. And moving along, uh, basically you're about to see my skincare regimen, which is consisting of my top products, which I swear by. Um, I have my Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, which I use on my under eye area. And um, actually, I also use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, and they made a cream version, which is used for under eyes, and I use that. And I use that in the evenings, and I use this in daytime and nighttime, the Kiehl's one. Um, I have also been trying the Micro Delivery Purifying Peel by, um, I want to say it's like Philosophy or something, and I'm trying that out. Alright, then my day cream and my evening cream that I use on my face is the Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Daytime Facial Cream. I use this in the daytime and in the nighttime. I use it twice daily. I don't just kind of stick to what it says. And then my retinoid base cream or my kind of retinol treatment without going full on retinol because I don't feel like I need full on right now is the Rock Deep Wrinkle Night Cream and I use that in the evenings. And um, I use just a little bit and I do that one to three nights a week. This is gonna be some more my hair products. I use uh, natural coconut oil on my ends and the Cantu, another ethnic product, and that is the leave-in conditioning repair cream. And I mixed my own sort of um, leave-in conditioner detangler by taking some um, distilled water or spring water, bottled water, whatever you have, mix it in a bottle with a drop of tea tree oil, and you can make your own kind of like uh, conditioning spray. My certain dry AM, certain dry kind of PM. I love this system just because I'm anal about armpit odor. I wouldn't say I really have over excessive amounts of sweat, but I don't want my arm 
outfits to stink. So every night I put this on after I get out of the shower and this is the one that I use during the day and this is the scented portion. Works awesome, you'll never have to worry about underarm sweat or underarm odor. And then I have baby powder. Okay, first little basket is just like a towel that covers up our um, kind of like band-aids and stuff like that. I don't think it's really pretty to look at. So I just kind of cover the basket up with it a little bit because nobody wants to look at like band-aids. So that's kind of like my little contraption. Um, here I just have Q-tips and in this one I just have my cotton rounds, which I use the Delon cotton rounds and I really love those. There's no kind of like lint and they really stick together well. It's great for manicures. And then, and let's see, what do I have in here? Um, I didn't really look at this one earlier. This is the Lost in Fantasy kind of body cream. And then I have the uh, Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream, which I love. And then I have my bottle of 100% tea tree oil. It has so many, so many uses. And um, yeah, I just keep that stored in there because generally if I need it, I'll be in the bathroom and use it in here. All right, so that takes care of that. This is the vanity, and um, on this side I just have two little candles, and then this is my drawer. I have some of my crest white strips, um, just all kinds of samples of skincare and beauty, kind of like skincare serums and stuff like that are here. Uh, sort of like my eyebrow eyelash kit section with my Latisse, and then over here is just kind of like some um, hair pulls and some elastic. So that is that drawer. And then we come across, um, this is kind of like my, I guess my nail polish kit. I turned one of my old uh, train cases into a cot, like a um, kind of like a case for my nail polishes and stuff. So yeah, that is that. That is all of my nail polish collection I keep in there, and then the packages behind it. And then this right here is kind of like my portable um, nail kit, I guess you could say. All right, guys, that is it for my what's in my shower, what's in my bathroom video. Um, hopefully that was interesting. We have a smaller bathroom, so um, I have to kind of be creative in terms of like storage and what I keep in the bathroom. And also we are kind of minimalist, my husband and I. If we like a product, we're gonna continue to stick with that product. We don't really feel like there's any sense in like reinventing the wheel. So if we don't like something, we cycle through it, we get rid of it and throw it away. So I'm not much of a hoarder when it comes to like clutter and things like that in my bathroom. I don't like a lot of things just clutter up my space. I like to know that when I reach for something, it's going to work for me. So um, if it's a little less than what you're used to saying, I mean, that's just the way we are. So hopefully you were able to get some good ideas from some of the products that I talked about or shared with you uh, for men and for women. So, okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. And you guys hung with me. So I'm going to do a giveaway. And I thought it was a great kind of fun giveaway. And I love these types of videos. Um, just seeing what some people's showers or bathrooms. I don't know. I'm like a creeper. I'm nosy. I like to see what people use so I always find something I want to try or maybe something that I'm like oh cool I use that too and it just it makes me feel neat so anyways while I am using the Joyco K-Pack um, I'm actually going to be giving away a full-size Joyco K-Pack kit and first of all the one thing I want to say this is going to be limited to the United States for this giveaway the only reason why is because of the amount of liquid that is included in this kind of giveaway kit. Once it goes outside the US, I can't track it. I don't know what's gonna happen to it and I can't guarantee it'll get to you without blowing out of some sort or them like confiscating it because there's liquid in it. I don't know what could happen. So I'm definitely limiting this one to the United States. One thing I do wanna caution you on, if your hair is normal, you feel like you've got really shiny, healthy hair, this on healthy hair will not do anything for your hair. In fact, it will actually damage your hair because the purpose of Joyco K-Pack products is to actually add protein and keratin back into severely damaged hair or hair that has just been really roughed up or damaged, whether it's from bleaching or the dye process or maybe um, super large amounts of like heat styling or hot tool usage, you know if you don't have healthy hair. And if you feel like your hair is like just really dry, maybe brittle, split ends, cracking or something like that, then this is definitely going to be the product for you to try and uh, one that I, you know, so far I'm really recommending and enjoying. So um, again, I'll show you the products that I'm going to be giving away. You do have to be 18 years of age or older if you are under the age of 18, just make sure you have your parents' permission because I am going to be reaching out and contacting you if you are the winner and I'll need your personal information in order to ship this to your street address. So that's the only reason why I need to know that. And um, okay, I'm not going to make it like you have to jump through hoops. You just have to be subscribed to this channel and I ask that you comment below and just let me know your favorite body soap. That's because I am always looking for a good body wash. I'm like a body wash fanatic. High end, low end, 
I'll try them all. I love them. That's the one thing that I'm not really committed to. I'm always trying new things. So please let me know that. Now, this one you can enter as many times as you want. You can comment as much as you want. I'm going to let this run for a week. I think this is going to end next, I think, Wednesday. I think that's the 29th. So I'll probably close this on Wednesday the 29th at midnight and announce the winner on Thursday via Twitter or via, um, you know, just a really quick video that I'll put up on this channel. So anyways, blah, 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 there I am rambling. Um, Joyco K-Pack Conditioner. You're gonna get the full 10 ounce size and this is the K-Pack Reconstruct Conditioner and you're gonna get a full size Joyco K-Pack Reconstruct Shampoo, which looks like this. And then you are also going to get the full size, which this is like the holy grail of Reconstruct products right here. And you can check online, check a lot of reviews, and I'll be reviewing this too. But um, this is definitely another really in-demand product. And this is the Joyco K-Pact Reconstruct Deep Penetrating Reconstructor for Damaged Hair. This is going to be the full 5-ounce size right here. And then they all are I'm just going to have them all in this like little zipper case. And... Um, just like a little convenient carry case or whatever it came in and yeah that is it that is going to be coming to you if you are going to be the lucky winner of the case so um yeah good luck to everybody and thanks so much for checking out what's in my bathroom i know it's up close and personal but you know i don't mind sharing those things with you guys so i have nothing to hide all right i hope you have a fantastic day or night when you're watching this good luck again don't forget to enter below subscribe to the channel and i'll link my twitter account down below too in case i happen to announce the subscriber on there first um that following thursday next week so yeah Good luck to everybody, and you know, I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!